Okay, uh, I'm Bill McRae. I'm an outdoor writer, photographer, and I've been doing it for many, many years. Sold the first picture I, just about the first picture I ever took, and to Outdoor Life. They published it in, uh, in 1963, and the first article I ever wrote, Outdoor Life bought and published it in November of 1964. And uh, I thought, boy, this is easy. And I couldn't have been more wrong because it's a tough business and it's not uh, all that easy to sell your, your work. But uh, having sold the first, some of the first things I did to Outdoor Life was a great boost. And uh, it, uh, if, I hadn't, if those articles and those pictures hadn't sold, well, I probably would have given up then and there. So I kept struggling for many years. And I also had some other trades that kept putting food on the table. I was, uh, of all things, an iron worker by trade, worked on bridges and things of that sort, and missile sites. And uh, anyway, uh, finally got where I could make a living at it, and it's been a wonderful, wonderful life. What advice would you give to people who would like to become outdoor writers and outdoor photographers? Don't. <laughs> no, seriously, it's, uh, if, you're, if you're looking to get rich uh, or famous, why, it's probably not the way to go, but uh, you can, it's easier to become famous or infamous than it is to become rich. But, you know, if you, if you can get to where you can make a decent uh, paycheck and, uh, and live, why, it's a wonderful way to live. Oh, another thing that I do, along with writing and... Uh, and photography. I uh, worked for about 20 years for Bushnell as a, an optics consultant. And the, the whole idea of the uh, optics thing was that I, they always interested me. I got my first uh, binocular for Christmas when I was probably about six or seven years old, and it just fascinated me. And so I uh, like magic. And uh, so I studied everything, learned everything I could about optics, and uh, uh, finally got where I knew a few things and started telling people I was an expert. And uh, you tell you, the interesting thing about that, if you tell people you're an expert often enough and long enough, some of them will start believing you. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, how I got into the, the optics thing. And uh, there was a, a lot of room for optics writers. I wanted to be a gun writer, but there were, uh, the, the woods are full of gun writers, but nobody wrote about optics, particularly in a knowledgeable way. So it was a, a whole wide open field for me.